Hey folks, John Kay here, and this is going to be a look at our official server for Eco White Tiger, and kind of a tour of the game and the kinds of stuff people are building in it. So we're here in uh, one of the town squares, and you can see all these various buildings that people are creating and building. <clears throat> and the thing to keep in mind is that this world started from just a pure uh, wilderness just plants and animals and the city grows up through the efforts of you know dozens or hundreds of people uh, over the course of weeks and months and the uh, buildings are just one part of what's uh, being created here the civic structure and the economy and all of the kind of Underpinnings of society are a huge part of the game also. So let's kind of take a look at those. So here you can see a, a world map. And I'm right here kind of in, in dead center of it. And all throughout this world there's just dozens of little settlements and outcroppings. You have these little resource towns out in the kind of Arctic regions. Big skyscrapers. Uh, looks like we got some big bridges, infrastructure. Looks like some farmlands over here. So, this huge uh, world that people are harvesting resources for, building up a society. And we can turn on different layers here so we can see the property layer here. These are these are plots that players have claimed, and uh, they have ownership access to that, and they can decide how they're shared. Uh, we also have districts, so these are all different districts within uh, the government that's being set up. <clears throat> so these are the different federal districts, and these are all just created by players. They, de they decide, uh, we want to create this new district map, this is how it's going to work and these are the districts in it and then they can paint on the map where it goes so here they have road priority so this is probably for some road building laws where they set road districts where you're able to uh, build roads only something like that <coughs> uh, so a lot of this fits into the government and how the government works as well laser placement maps so there's tons of these different maps and these are all all parts of the uh, with a player created government. We can also see the environment data. So this tells you where everything is. Uh, gives you heat maps of the different populations. So you see there's like a big alligator population here. You know, let's see where. Um, coyotes, there's coyote population here. Oh, they're really big in this kind of warmer region down here. So the whole animal simulation uh, is affected by uh, different biomes. Here's all the like ice biomes, ocean biomes, rainforest biomes. So there's this whole ecological simulation that uh, determines where resources grow, where plants and animals grow. And on top of that, there's kind of the natural simulation too. So here's fresh water. Uh, rainfall. This is basically which lands are going to be best for uh, for crops. So you see, like, there's a lot of soil moisture here, and different crops are going to grow in different uh, moisture levels. And you have different uh, nutrients which are needed for plants, and you can actually change these layers by uh, fertilizer, for example, in this case. Uh, and then you can see the plants as well. Like, where is the where is corn growing in the game? It looks like we've got a hot spot here. This must be a cornfield. And we could see tomatoes. Yep, there's their tomatoes. Yeah, so we have this whole uh, whole simulation that's, you know, the physics of the simulation, the, the biomes, the biological aspects of it are, are run by the server. But then there's also the civic simulation, which are created by players. <clears throat> So let's dive into that a little bit and check out the government for this world. 
So here is the current government. So this is a really developed world. So this all starts from nothing and players develop this process over time. So the constitution is one of the first things that they start. And basically the constitution this is, uh, defines how uh, the government runs. So you can see all these different constitutional articles that they've put together. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this one is about uh, laws, districts, and demographics. So this group of people, members of parliament, can propose an election of type parliament vote. So they put a pretty complex system here. So members of parliament has Pep Z. He is the prime minister of this world. His reputation is celebrated. He's got lots of uh, yeah, positive feedback there. And uh, he is part of this, uh, this parliament vote. You can see the history of office holders here looks like it's kind of changed hands a few times <clears throat> and this constitutional article basically gives powers to specific positions and all of those are defined by players they define the positions they define the powers they define the laws so it's really this this organizational structure that built up over time uh, <clears throat> these are elected titles so these are different positions you can be elected for so here's the prime minister one and you can mouse over anything and, and see the data here so you can see like what are the actual settings for this you know how it, how is this person elected who is eligible to become the prime minister um, <clears throat> what's required of them oh they can't have these other positions that's required of them so all kinds of details you can set up here i cannot run for prime minister because i'm not a member of parliament okay well, there we go. So if I wanted to put my sights on that, I would know what to do. Oh, the term limit has expired. It can be replaced by a new election. Oh, nice. So a new election could be started by that. And then here we have election processes. So this is actually how the elections work. Who's allowed to vote? Who's allowed to veto? What happens in a tie? How long does it last? Etc. So you can really customize how decisions are made. Um, this is really just about the group kind of guiding the group. How does that take effect? And the result is it built this really uh, robust uh, community that's able to kind of self-create and self-guide. So let's take a look at the legislation tab here. Uh, so there's no elections currently active, but there's lots of laws. Wow, this is a really well-regulated server. Um, let's minimize those. So yeah, all kinds of laws here. And you can kind of see the icons give you a hint of what what it's doing. Like this is research and end game legislation. So it has like research is authorized in certain cases. And then you can kind of drill in and see what, uh, what that means. So it looks like it's preventing certain trades. Uh, so every action that the player can do uh, goes through the law system. So whenever they perform an action, like uh, chopping a stump, for example, this is just an action you can perform. It'll go through and detect this law and decide, okay, let's check conditions on it. Is the stump destroyed? And is the action location inside of this district? Uh, then we issue a payment uh, to this person. So this is actually like programmed and part of the server now. So whenever every single chop up stump action is going to go go through the system and there's just dozens of actions that are that are tracked and uh, the laws can do all kinds of things like collecting taxes charging fines paying stimulus preventing it um, all manner of stuff that's that's automated by the system and these laws are proposed and voted on by players so they're kind of building up the rules for their community and establishing how things work in this world Let's look at the population tab. So here's a district map. So we were looking at earlier, tons of different ways that they divide up the world. These are all maps of, on the same landscape. They're able to divide it up in different ways and make different kinds of rules about it. 
And then these are demographics, which are just uh, group groupings of people. So you uh, you can define a rules to say like uh, a member of a private company. Let's see. Yeah, it's doing some check to see if they're in part of a public private company. And now this grouping can be used as kind of a target. Like you could say only employee a private company is taxed a certain amount. So this is a way of defining groups that are updated constantly. Um, <clears throat> eligible for UBI. Oh, this is an interesting one. Let's see what's required of this one. Online hours is greater than 0.25. So that's not too bad. So once you've played 0.25 hours, you're eligible for uh, UBI. Oh, that's online hours in the last day. Yeah, so you got all these people who have played enough and they'll start earning uh, UBI. You can see it's referenced by the Universal Basic Income Law. Okay, so this, this server has a UBI law that they've set up. And let's see, what does it do on event chat sent? First login payment. So it has all these different clauses they've set up. Here we go, UBI, UBI payment once per hour. Everyone receives their UBI based on their pool. Interesting, so all kinds of complexities about how UBI is determined. And you can go through this and see the records and see uh, see how that happens. But the end result is that I'm going to get money in my bank account, which I can then spend in the economy of the world. So let's take a look at... Uh, here's an example of the law programming interface. So it's done through uh, through these templates. This is I'm just viewing this so I can't change it. But basically you would be able to, to pull these drop downs and decide um, different uh, slots that you could fill, you know, how, how decisions are made, what are the conditions, etc. So this is for a, uh, that was for a demographic. Oh, let's look at a law specifically. Yeah, here we go. So you can kind of see all the different clauses within a single law. So let's take a look at the economy. So we looked at the simulation, the, the ecosystem. Uh, we looked at the government. And another huge aspect of the game is the economy. This is the economy viewer, which gives you a, a high level view of everything going on in the world. So this is a full list of all the things for sale or wanting to be purchased in a game. So there's, there's thousands of these things. There's a really active economy on this world and you can filter it by various things. Let's future it down to hewn logs. So we can see hewn logs are being sold 500 meters away from me at Teal's Trinkets. And they are on sale for 0.82. So they're super cheap, whereas if you look at these other places, it's going to be a lot uh, a lot higher prices. So there could be a, an arbitrage kind of opportunity here. I could become a merchant and I could buy the hewn logs here and then I could go and sell them to somebody you know that has a buy price that wants them uh, which is again might be across the map so I can kind of travel and make money. There's like an opportunity right there. And you'll see that uh, the currency is defined for each of these. So some of these are actually barter stores but it looks like pretty much they just have one currency on this world. So the euro is their, uh, their main currency. There's 3.5 million in circulation. There's 170k debt. because You can make loans to other players in this game. And uh, yeah, this currency, it doesn't exist when the game is started. This is created by players and it only has value that they basically define. So they can create a limited number of uh, this currency and allow players to set up stores that trade in it. Uh, and then you can set up taxes on it. So the whole creation of that, uh, that part of the economy down to the currency itself, down to what, what backs the currency is uh, player created. And you can see the bank accounts of who has the most money in these things. So yeah, some really rich people in here. 
and uh, right now everything is public so you can see like let's go look at one of these uh, bank accounts here Ray Earth bank account we can see all of his transactions and this guy has been busy doing lots of shopping buying stuff receiving universal basic income they got 25 euros basic income paid for by the federal bank oh let's look at the federal bank here's the federal bank massive number of uh, transactions here mostly universal basic income payouts so as it's, I mean this server is pretty mature so as you ramp up you can just kind of see the complexity that it builds up but all of that becomes visible and you can dive in and understand what's going on and really find points to uh, to insert yourself as a player find your niche within this this massive system of systems so other aspects of the economy uh, it's not just selling goods but selling services so there's a few work parties and these are requesting services from people where you can go and perform labor on these projects and receive payment uh, so it tells you what kind of labor is needed you know you might need a certain skill for it uh, what kind of payment you get for it etc and then we have contracts uh, so it's another way to uh, sell buy and sell services and these are uh, these have specific kind of clauses to them so this one is selling a bond this is how you uh, you have debt in the game you can actually loan to people lots of loans in here elevator permission interesting so this person is selling rights to an elevator so they must have built an elevator and you can basically like buy it from them in order to uh, to use that elevator that's pretty cool so lots of creative ways they can kind of program these these contracts the same way that others do well, someone has permissions to pick flowers that's quite nice <laughs> and uh, yeah it just really makes a much more rich economy when it's not just goods being sold but services as well then we have public crafting stations usually people build their own crafting stations but these ones you can sell access to it, it looks like everybody is, is allowing them mostly for free there's a few that like charge for use of crafting tables uh, currencies and use so looks like there's just a few different types of currencies garbage man credit euros donation receipt emission permit so they're kind of using these in creative ways to track different uh, values in the economy you know they have their main kind of monetary currency is the euro and then they have other ways that they can uh, track uh, how things happen there and then lastly we have rents so you can rent properties out to people and that allows them to uh, get the skill points from having that particular house and uh, you get to earn some some money in the process so it's another 